welcome to episode 19, Ross Wells. Hey, Gina, how are you? It's I'm nice to be here. D- doing great. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it right to Amber Roussel, who's live in the studio. Amber, will you introduce the band, please? Yep, we have here today with us the Happenins. Woo! <laughs> Yay. Yeah.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are the Happenings from Austin, Texas. This next song is called Do It. All right.
Down now, had a rock and roll. We had a so confused, I had to let it loose. They don't do the twist, no! they don't shake their hips, oh, no. they don't Elvis, pelvis, no! they, they're so helpless. The kids don't dance, they don't dance, the kids don't dance. They don't boogie They don't boogie
The Happen Ends. Wow. Hey, Amber. That was awesome. I'm almost on sensory overload right now. There's a lot going on in this room. That was fantastic. Amber, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here while we get these gentlemen in the uh, interview room? Well, I'm a huge fan of local music, and I have a creative company and do a lot of PR and interactive media. So you're working on a project right now that it kind of involves film and music and all those things. Can you tell us about that? I am. I'm half of a team called the Ford Fiesta Movement, and we're one of 20 in the U.S., and we are basically promoting the creativity and spirit of our city. And we're also working on a film uh, with Zen, Zen Film, Yay. coming up. Woo-hoo! <laughs> yeah. Um, we're so incestuous tonight. We are. We're <laughs> multi, um, multitasking here. But um, so we're working on a film that's coming up that'll be released in June, which is going to be really fun. And it's going to incorporate music as well. We've been doing some uh, backseat jukebox is what we call it. But we've been recording um, musicians in the backseat of our car and just, you know, seeing where it goes and having fun with it. So well, we're thrilled that you're here with us. We're going to go ahead and let uh, the next band get set up while we talk to the Happen Ends. Awesome. Guys. Hey, guys. How are you? Howdy. How do we get in the backseat of Amber's car? Whoa. Well, yeah, how do All they get in the backseat of your ask. car, Amber? So I, we, can, we can set that up. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to tell you about our boyfriend. So Happen Ends, you guys are pretty busy today. You were on uh, KPFT earlier today. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as you leave here, you'll be heading out for another show. And then tomorrow you'll be doing an in-store at our favorite favorite record store. Oh, can I say that? Yes, you can. Cactus Records. Cactus Records. Um, Sun Exchange right behind them. Or right, right next to them. How's that? Not even behind. Why do they do that? Why do they always set up competing record stores? Always set up close to each other. It's like gas stations. Yeah. <laughs> Those gas stations. Yeah, people, they, they tend to, I guess they figure if you're, you're shopping for music, you're going to go to that area or something. Mm, yeah. Maybe they can get you first. So talk to us about what you guys are what you guys are up to. You've got a new record out. Can we talk about that a little bit? We can. Yeah. Absolutely. There's visual aids. This is a record. Uh, uh, same uh, record. Uh, Alexandra Valenti did the artwork. As you can see, we have two two different sets of artwork for two two of the same products. So you have to buy General. both. So you, you have to buy both to get all the art. That is the correct. Uh, we put these record out in March. Uh, we've been playing around around regionally, and uh, we're gonna head to the East Coast and be doing some residencies in New York City for uh, June. Awesome. Very, very cool. So one thing that hasn't changed from episode to episode is that we always forget to introduce the band. That's right. Mm. So, Sean. Sean. John Michael. Falcon. Ricky Ray Jackson. Falcon, who we know and love, who was on episode seven with us with another band of his back in the day called Glass Nose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, episode seven seems like. So far seems like away. yesterday. Seems like, like 12 episodes ago. It was. <laughs> Sounds like an industrial goth band. <laughs> so, so tell us what 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 the Happen Ends is about. What are what what was the uh, what was the motivation to create this? I, band? Would, I think we're, mostly we uh, we all share a love for music and mostly good songs. Uh, we just wanted to be in a band that played good songs. So it's not uh, it's not necessarily a wealth of bands playing even songs around Austin, you know. Sometimes it's hard to find even... Well, I mean, it's more like... Just a song. Mood, you know, yeah. like, there's a psych scene going on in Austin that's, that's purely aesthetic. I mean, there's absolutely nothing musical about any of it. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of a way to get... The whole idea of what we had originally set out to do, and which has actually been working for us, is that we trying to develop our own kind of culture around what we're doing as far as like do, throwing our own shows and cutting out all promoters because um, all the venues within the last three years have now um, we have a we have a sound ordinance now which never happened uh, right. I mean that's ridiculous and uh, for a city like Austin to have a sound ordinance during uh, South by mind you. during South by and then uh, you know, and, know. <laughs> then you have these uh, C3 and transmission and these companies that came in and they they're per now taking over the booking for these clubs, which works for the clubs because they get the bigger acts. But for the younger acts, we still have to play, pay a promoter fee when the when they're not promoting our show. Yeah. They're not doing anything for our show. And so we're just like, I'm. we're just tired of doing that. That whole song and dance and playing with five bands on one bill and one night, you know. So how are you getting so around it, that? Basically, like, if need be, if we need to go to the wrong side of the tracks and play at the bar that nobody's ever stepped foot in, you know, for whatever reason, then that's what we'll do, you know. And we 
basically were filling rooms on the wrong side of the tracks with people that thought they would never go there. Yeah. And they're going and there and they're coming. loving it. Yeah. Like, like we did a show where we're having our, our uh, two night residency this um, the month of May. Uh, two su- the first two Sundays at a club 1808, 08, which is at 12th and Chacon, which is like, I mean, you just don't go down there. Is there know? like a, is there a, an intersection in town you can compare it to? Um, <laughs> it'd be like going to, you know, some place in like Fifth Ward that you really wouldn't want to be at. Um, but it's actually a cool club. But they, people it's came great. out and it was a, they were banging shows, the ones that we've already done. And how are is the how are the clubs feeling about it? I mean, love it. Love oh, they it. love it. Yeah, it's great. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've I mean, absolutely we... embraced the entire East Side as far as like. Um, well, like trying to set up a you know um, shows to fund the the community, the community centers yeah. for the kids and stuff like that. Yeah. Just because like there's a it's just a great scene over there. It's a great culture. It's a good neighborhood. It's almost the only place of culture left in Austin right now. Very cool. Club owners are are loving it just because we all our crowds are like dancing crowds, so they're thirsty. So that ends up translating for good numbers <laughs> of the cash register yeah, for right. the owners. So, so we're talking about the bands loving it, you know, and and you know what I'm hearing out there is a. Hear a lot of blues rock, a little bit dirtier, a little bit nastier, a little bit more energetic. How do you describe what it is that you're doing? Spooky, yeah. sexy. Yeah, greasy, sexy. R&B. I just think it's just R&B. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, uh, it sounded great. I mean, that was just a smoking set. Well, thanks, man. Thank you. Um, so we can find you at MySpace back forward slash, excuse me, The Happen Ends. Um, anywhere else we can look for uh, you? We, we Where can we find your records? We have a Facebook page. Um, you can find us. iTunes. iTunes, Amazon.com. Uh, Waterloo, Waterloo Records. Records.com. Playing every local club on the east side of Austin. Yeah. Yep. Um, and Pretty some much. other places yeah. in between. Uh, uh, and, 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 house parties. And well then he- and heading up the east coast pretty soon. Pretty yep. soon. June. Um, one one last real quick thing I wanted to talk about was you d- you did the record on vinyl mm-hmm. this time, and we're seeing more and more of that with our artists on the show. Oh, yeah. What what was your drive to do it? Well, one thing, I mean, just sounds just good. love listening to vinyl. Yeah, How cool is that? You know, I mean, like very yeah, cool. we made a record <laughs> and we put it on vinyl. But I mean, honestly, when you think about people who buy vinyl, they're active music listeners. They're not casual music listeners. They're not downloading one song off an album on their iPod that they're going to listen to that one song from the artist forever. They've got to spend some time, put the needle on this sucker, you know, sit down, let's put the headphones on, flip the flip the damn thing over, you know, I mean, it's a this is an interactive process to listen to the vinyl. So, I think I was Yeah, when he brought it in, I was, was like that's pro- going in my collection. So, <laughs> you're soon not taking it back with you. All right. But th- thanks for having for, for you. Co- yeah, coming out. Well, the today. great part is people are buying it again, yeah. which is yeah. awesome. That is yeah. I'll give you money for this after. No, we sold, I, was, I think we've sold more vinyl at the, at Waterloo than we've sold CDs. We've sold more at shows, actually. Awesome. Yeah, it's a, it's at least I, People even. are buying it, and they don't even have... I, I keep hearing this. People will buy it, and they'll be like, I don't have a record player, but I'm going to go get one now. <laughs> that's but it's awesome. Also, it's also art, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's why we... Kind of the reason we did two covers, you know, and we get figured this would be the one people would see. and Yeah, that and a frame on somebody's wall would look pretty lame. But, but that, that, that would look, look <laughs> nice. Well, uh, like I said, absolutely smoke and set. That was great. Thank you for, for making the trip down and, and for joining us. us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Totally. It's good to be here on a muggy day. Yeah. <laughs> Have a great time tonight. Um, we'll see you at, with our friends at Cactus tomorrow. And yep. yep. Hire us for your house party. Yeah. All Anybody right, we'll get you the contact this. info at live from sugarhill.tv. So we're yes. getting ready to head back into the studio to talk to Amber, who's going to introduce our next band. Live from Sugar Hill, we've got Craig Kinsey. That's your keyboard. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I've seen this kind of thing before. <laughs> what exactly have you seen? Well, are we ready to start playing? I yeah. think so. Let's hear it. All right. Well, this first song came uh, from a conversation with my dear old dad. Warning uh, that uh, if your woman's acting funny, there may be a reason for it. You hear that tick? Don't be looking over at him, friend. All right. This is uh, about, you know, if your woman leaves you, there may be uh, somebody else in the wings. It's called a monkey never swings from one branch unless there's another waiting there. I'll explain it to you after dinner. The monkey never swings from one branch Unless there's another waiting there 
The monkey never swings from one branch Unless there's another waiting there The monkey never swings from one branch Unless there's another waiting there The monkey never swings from one branch Unless there's another waiting there She'll tell you that it's not you, it's her She'll say she doesn't have another lover That she's just demure She'll tell you that she's done nothing wrong But remember, boys, the words of this are always liars And remember where there's smoke there is fire The monkey never swings from one branch unless there's another waiting there The monkey never swings from one branch unless there's another waiting there Calidora Pretty good work, Kelly Doyle. Kelly Doyle, that was pretty good work, friend. All right, well, this is a song off uh, the Burdener album, um, my solo album. It's called uh, Pale Rises the Moon.
I don't know of riches, land or more. I'm a man of poor and simple toil. I don't know the sailor's widow's sound. I come from a small and humble town. But I do know that if you love me, I'd be as rich as Galilee. And I do know that if I could love you too, well, there's nothing I wouldn't do. I don't know of all the lands afar. I have never owned a fine guitar. I don't know what all the sages do. All that wisdom I could learn from you. If only. As rich as Galilee, and if only I could love you too. Well, there's nothing I wouldn't do for you, my love. Rise. Hush their tone, and the wind subdues its steady drone. I sit on my bed alone. Can you hear me as I think of you? That one? You're just clapping to be friendly. Let's see. Uh, we're going to do a uh, Sideshow Tramp song. This is a little song. This is a death ballad. It's a sweet and gentle song about a uh, boy meets girl. Boy leaves his girl. Boy finds another imaginary girl in a bottle. Boy uh, goes back to his original girl. Boy gets hammer. Boy gets sickle. Boy kills girl. 
It's basically your old-fashioned love story. It's called uh, Lady Vodka. This is Sideshow Tramp song. She would rise up from the bed and bar the door And I would lay there in Latka's warm hair She would quote to me from Chekhov and of Keats And then in silence and a blank stare I would push her gently down into the sheets And so I'd tarry with darling Latka Making love before a dancing candelabra And I petitioned Latka for a Menage a trois with she and me and Lady Vodka Vodka! Vodka! Have another little kiss of Lady Vodka And when I've had that, I'll have another Another little kiss of Lady Kelly Oh, and Lady Vodka would speak to me there She would run her bending fingers down my chest She would say there, you know that I'm fair And only I can be the one you love the best Outside the window, the trees were crystal The moon would hover like a juicy crystal ball And then I murmured, as from a missile La bella dime signs me see as me enthrall And in the throes of my effusion I dug my fingers in the back of darling Latka And with confusion, in my delusion I called out the name Lady Vodka Vodka, Vodka Have another little kiss of Lady Vodka And when I've had that, I'll have another Another little kiss of Lady Vodka Young Will Her body glistening in candlelight And Lady Vodka with a plot mean Bid me up and out into the night And she'd a taunt and she'd a titter And she'd a drive me by the lake into the barn And with suggestions cruel and bitter She began to weave a wicked yarn Boys, she said it was women that made man fall And with many other words did she accuse And then she pointed to the barn wall And showed to me the tools I would use Vodka, vodka Another little kiss of Lady Vodka And when I've had that, I'll have another Another little kiss of Lady Kelly Doyle playing again Hands of lead. I went back to the cottage in the bed beside Latka and the hearth flame. I saw my trembling shadow on a frame, and so I knelt there beside the bed there, and gently I began to stroke her hair. And I said, Latka, your heart is fickle, and I killed her with a hammer and a sickle. Vodka, vodka, have another little kiss of Lady Vodka, and when I've had that, I'll have another. Another little kiss of lady, but let me hear you boys. Vodka, vodka. Have another little kiss of lady vodka. And when I've had that, I'll have another, another little kiss. Of 
of Lady Vodka. Thank you, folks. That's a uh, Sideshow Tramp song, and we happen to have two of the Sideshow Tramps. I guess we have three of the Sideshow Tramps in here, <laughs> ultimately, because I uh, play in the Sideshow Tramps, along with Mr. Joffrey Muller over here on bass. Back there, uh, hidden away, is Mr. Shane Lauder. He's also a Sideshow Tramp. And then uh, we got some taggers along that we found out in the front here, Mr. Will Van Horn playing that slide. So pretty. And one of the best guitarists in the in the whole wide world, Mr. Kelly Doyle over there. Hey, give him a round of applause, people. Yeah. We're in a studio. Let's see, what does this magic list say? Oh, we're gonna do a song about Houston. And that's gonna require me to put on my little mouth harp here. This is a song called Montrose Boulevard Blues. It's off uh, my Birdner album. Like that one? 
Well, here's a little song about uh, uh, your woman giving you the silent treatment. I know you probably would never do such a thing. Never, never would do such a thing. <laughs> In perfect control of your emotions. But uh, sometimes, some people have that situation. Men and women alike. What's that? Men and women alike. Oh, no. <laughs> men, are, men are rock solid. <laughs> All right, this is called What Is It That You Want? Maybe uh, you've felt this before. What is it that you want? And why do you turn away? I can no longer translate the things that your eyes say You know I could Ease your pain If only You'd explain What is it that you want What do you want You know I can't Read your mind And there's some game just won't play And your thoughts I cannot divine If only You would say What is it that you want What do you want What is it that you want Tell me what you want You know I asked the local deacon And the sheriff about you. They shrugged and said at their house, they have the same problem too. What is it that you want? What do you want? What is it that you want? Tell me what you want. You know, a woman will make you suffer. Her silence and her distance She will make you feel her pain What is it that you want? What do you want? What is it that you want? Tell me what you want Is it really so obvious That I should already know? You know I tried to understand you But I guess I'm just too slow Or is it some kind of womanly secret That we're not allowed to know You know we could continue this game of charades But it'd be so much simpler if you would just say What is it that you want? What do you want? The voice of a chorus of hundreds of thousands of baffled and desperate men Saying, what is it that you want? What do you want? What is it that you want? Tell us what you want What is it that you want? Is it that you want? Is it that you want? What is it that you want? I see your applause isn't that big on that one. Was that a question? <laughs> yeah, what is it that you want? Sometimes it's cheeseburgers, and sometimes it's peace and quiet, and it changes. That's so all. what you're saying is we have to pay attention to the subtle moves of your thoughts and feelings and be attentive to our ladies. Well, what do you think of that? There's a fellas? lesson in there somewhere. <laughs> Boy. Possibly. So we have to not be so selfish. And What's that? Do we want to do another song, or are we about to... We tired of this? Are you guys tired? Nah, I'm 
good. All right, we'll do one more song. What's that? I know, I like it. It makes it feel like we're really in a place, in a room. Huh. <laughs> We were gonna huh. we were gonna play down in an operating room over at the medical district, but we decided to sit here in an actual room and play actual instruments. This is called uh, Saint Anne's Door. Oh uh, yeah, it's a good song.
I think that's enough. Done. Woo! Feeling good. Mm. That was a good finish. Good. Uh, Craig, come on in here and, and talk to us. Oh, bring, bring the gang. While we're uh, waiting for Craig and the gang to get through back here, um, Amber, why don't you give us the uh, web address for the Ford Fiesta movement if we need any further information on your project? Sure, absolutely. The Thank web address you. is just fiestamovement.com, and you can follow Team Houston at fiestamovement.com slash Houston. And it's myself and photographer Mark Austin, um, my other half. And we're doing all kinds of crazy stuff with the Ford Fiesta movement, including that upcoming film with Zen and new fun projects. We'll be doing more backseat jukebox, so check it out. Awesome. Amber, thanks for being with us. Thank you. And now the, now the band is making their way into the... Uh, the bird nerd. Where do you want me? I want you right here. Come on. The, come on in here. I don't mind sitting next to it. I'm a little nervous around girls, so. Uh, oh, yeah? yeah. Yeah. You sure didn't show it out there. No. <laughs> she, she Sometimes girls, us. you know, just need to be told to tell you what we want. And I wanted you to sit by me. How you doing, Hank? I'm doing good, Craig. Good. I wish there was a snake here. Where's the rest of the band? Come on, guys. Get some more, some oh, more action. Oh, they're going to get beers they want and to get things. Beer. Oh. Would somebody get me a beer? Gee whiz. We need a beer sponsor. What Kelly Doyle. I'm, th I'm thinking. I'm thinking enough. somebody's gonna step in and, and do that at some point. Let's at hope. Some point, yeah. So I've got um, two albums here: Sideshow Tramps, uh, The Medicine Show, and then Craig Kinsey's solo project, The Bergner. Right. Both done by uh, Sugar Hill alumni Lee Crane, Steve Christensen, and we're working on a new record right now. Oh, can Steve? I ask you something? Maybe I shouldn't do this now, but this is more of like a uh, PR type thing. Yeah. Is it uh, okay to say that, like this album, The Chronicle called it one of the 12 best albums of, of 2008, course. along Absolutely. with Willie Nelson? Is that okay to say, or is it wrong for a person to say that about themselves? Thank you, Fran. I don't, now that you've let it slip, I guess we have to leave it in the Oh, show. this is being recorded. Right. Oh, okay. On, uh, not, not really oh, on well. tape anymore. Shane, there's a seat right here for you, baby. So I've got to tell, you can. I've got to tell you guys that while you guys were sound checking, and Falcon um, from the first band happened mm -hmm. in and said that it's probably the best of the best in Houston, all in one room. And wow. you know, he's from Houston too and he's pretty amazing as a musician, but you guys you guys are really some of you're the oh, core there. of some of the Houston. You're the cream bands. of the crop. Yeah. You know, I've read I've read a quote from Ray Charles. He said if you want to find good musicians, go to Houston. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Does he, does I, he I do real, I'm not making that up. Well, uh, uh, what, what I always you, tell the truth. Too. You always sorry. What? So, so that was a great set. We really enjoyed that. Uh, oh, that's it, it was it, lovely, uh, but uh, a bit peculiar. Why is that? I don't know. It's it, it it's not it's not your run of the mill. It's not your run of the mill uh, music. What is it exactly? Um, Texas country. <laughs> just, just, just <laughs> traditional. It's Texas music. It's I guess perfect. it's sort of like, um, all right, you know, like you have certain things you like to eat. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you eat Mexican, sometimes you eat Italian. Well, somehow it got into the culture. Boy, now I feel like I'm in my philosophy class. That's okay. But sometimes, somehow it got into the culture that you can only eat one kind of food. Remember, this is a metaphor for music. Follow me. <laughs> follow me. Right? I'm, I'm trying to stay with you. And you can only play <laughs> one type of music. Well, what I do is whatever I like. Whatever I like, I just write a song like that. Like uh, one song might be kind of uh, some people say Tom's Tom Waits ish type of thing. If I like that and it hits me, then I'll write that song. Or if the song's kind of uh, uh, Eastern European or something like that, I'll write that. Or if it's boogie, or if it's folk like, whatever I like, I write and then that's what I play. It's an astonishing thing that that's a revolutionary concept. But uh, yeah, I it's just. It's diversity. <laughs> Well, yeah. maybe it's uh, maybe it's being a little bit more honest with yourself as a musician, and yeah. honesty is kind of a revolutionary concept at times. Mm -hmm. If yeah. we're going to get philosophical, y'all just sound like drunks to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like you're like my best friend. Too. Well, that's you know that's what I tell my girlfriend all the time. <laughs> honesty is key. <laughs> Oh. Shane's checking out the Shane's, happenings. Shane's looking at the Happenings record. That's the biggest CD I've Where? Ever I didn't see it. Can I see it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pass it around. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Who are these girls that weren't here in the studio tonight? We see them yeah, it's false advertising. Yeah, that's wrong. So we've got Shane there. Hi. Shane. Hi. 
Hello. Craig. Mm hmm. Joffrey. Kelly, Kelly Doyle. Doyle. And Will Van Horn. Amazing musicians in the house with us tonight. Yeah, some of the some of the best players in the city. Not all of them, of course. There's somebody behind the camera who's also one of the best players in the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, a, that's you, Hank. From the Southern Backtones, <laughs> one of my favorite bands. So, so Craig, how did how did you uh, how did you come to oh, to work with this fine group of people? Well, where did uh, you go to find them? Um, there's a guy. Houston. Yeah, there was a guy who's in the Sideshow Tramps named uh, Scott McNeil, and uh, I knew him for a while. We played music. I went to the University of St. Thomas, and I met this guy, and we started playing and. Uh, and then we all played together, and then we started with residency. A bunch of people started showing up. This little rag, ragged thing over here showed up, asked if he could play drums. And uh, so that happened, and then it kind of uh, turned into the Sideshow Tramps. Started playing with the Sideshow Tramps, and through that and playing music, we met more and more people. And then we were very fortunate to meet, as Falcon said, some of the best musicians I mean, not just in Houston, but around Kelly Doyle, Will Van Horn, and uh, you know numerous other people that play with us. We were fortunate, the Sideshow Tramps, to have some of the best musicians in the world play with us, just because um, they're friendly. Yeah, they're fr we try to be friendly, don't we, Ted? Hillary Sloan. Yeah. Hillary Sloan's She's awesome from fiddle. We got um, Nick Gaetan playing bass with us. A lot of a lot of great musicians play with us. Speaking of friendly, I understand you're fairly friendly with your hat. And oh, the Burdener. Yeah. Tell us about the Burdener, which is also the name of your album. Yes, exactly. This is a uh, hat about a long time ago in Eureka Springs, and uh, I started wearing it, and then it um, it started floating around among the fans. I would toss it out into the crowd because we were playing like every Monday night at a place in Houston, and I would toss it out to the crowd, and they'd take it home, and then the next Monday they'd show up with the uh, hat, and so. Uh, this started to gather a lot of mojo on it. There's a lot of uh, unmentionable things that have happened with this hat. Um, it also, it, you can time travel through it. Oh, great. That's great. <laughs> I've, been, I've been wanting a hat like that. <laughs> Tell you the truth, there's a, a comic strip, a Sideshow Tramps comic strip, um, you can see on our website that has, it'll have the Burdener and time traveling in it, so. So what's the URL for that? What's the URL mean? What's the, what's the web address? www.sideshowtramps.com <laughs> Very good. Very good. So no, now, you, were, you weren't always the Sideshow Tramps. Right. You started out as... Medicine Show. And, and that's the name of our first album. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so there's been kind of a, kind of a little journey here um, from Medicine Show through the solo project onto what you're working on now. Uh, what's changed and what have you kept the same? Well, there was a Medicine Show, and then that was craziness and um, kind of turned into a, man, would Bacchanalian be the word? I don't know. We have people uh, do naked backflips, which on that URL, yeah. you can see video of a naked backflip from, uh, URL is from a philosophy teacher we know who lives in New York. And um, anyway, so it was a medicine show. And then we all, we all ended up going to Arkansas and being baptized in the river. Okay. And then that's when their big transformation happened, right, Tip? And my life changed. And that's when we became a Christian band. Oh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you are too, friend. Now. You're no, I, I don't. Those I don't. I don't really know. I don't really, <laughs> there was a baptism by fire, anyway. There was a. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we just uh, had to change the name because um, people were getting confused with this other band that has a similar name, that I think probably had that name after we did. But you know, we don't. We don't pick fights or anything around here, right, boys? We like That's to live right. peacefully. I got tired of looking on the internet and doing search engines and seeing that band and not us. Right, right. So we had to come up with a new name fast. <laughs> right. So we just put something together. Some, some, we just threw things. We just, just tossing things together. together. You know, it could have been it could have been uh, Shaniqua or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Was Boy, that was a close runner up though. <laughs> We'd probably be much more popular now if that was what we were called. So the some of the most amazing musicians in Houston, also the wittiest, the driest humor, but awesome. So. <laughs> Absolutely, and 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 Joffrey here uh, is also, uh, in addition to his uh, his his great record as a fantastic musician, he's he's now also becoming famous on the internet as uh, you know the the miracle 
of Jeff, Jeff Muller, which is the uh, appearance he made in the chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. So if you go up face, Facebook, search for Jeff uh, Muller, G-E-O-F-F-M-U-L-L-E-R, chicken sandwich, and uh, be part of the miracle. Be part Amen. of the miracle. There's a family. We also have uh, pe yes. people should really? know. Really? Oh, wow. People should know that uh, if you come to Sideshow Tramp Show, there's this phenomenon called mystical bruises. I'm serious. Like, people come to us after the show and show us all their bruises that they're not sure how they happened and what took place. But, I mean, don't let that scare you. It's a fun and a joyful event, too. You're not going to be hurt, and, you know, you'll be safe. But there's mystical bruises, and then there's appearances of Joffrey and sandwiches and uh, naked backflips and all kinds of fun things. It's, a, it's And a fellowship. Moment. In fellowship. And, and uh, awesome music. Awesome music. Well, there's that That's too. secondary. Peculiar awesome yeah, that's music. Just... So that, uh, that kind of brings us to the conclusion of, of the uh, amazing, awesome Naked Backflip episode 19. Yes. I hope somebody does a Naked Backflip before we leave. Uh-oh. Uh, but not in this room with the microphones. Maybe, yeah. maybe outside. It's a little tight. Uh, yeah. We want to say thank you to all of our team, the Sugar Hill team, the Zen team. You know who you are. We're not even going to bother with all those names. Because that stuff gets cut out yeah. anyway. Yeah. Happenings. Thanks for being here. Yay, Happenings. Sideshow Tramp slash Craig Kinsey family reunion. The Burdener, <laughs> the hat mm -hmm. is here. Thank you, everyone. Dan, we miss you. We can't wait for you to come back. Amen. Ross, thanks for stepping in. Chris and Nick, <laughs> our engineers, we love you. Episode 19. Bye. I miss you, Danny. Yeah.